。哎，你好，新概念英语第二册 ，New Concept English Two。哎，今天我学习第二十四课，这也是 Unit One 第一单元的最后一课，题目是 It Could Be Worse， 不幸中的万幸。丢掉的东西在二十四小时之内找到了，真是不幸中的万幸。好，将二十四和题目连接起来，联想记忆。好，课文开始前提出的问题是 ：Has the writer's money been stolen？ 哎，作者的钱被偷了吗？哎，我的视频分为两个部分，第一个部分课文内容图像化。变为一个小动画。第二个部分，我的背诵。今天是第一到二十四课的课文内容背诵。好的，开始第一个部分，课文内容变小动画。呃，在我学习第十五课的时候，我使用了一个锚，哎，就是船上的那个锚，将课文前后对比分开。呃，其实今天在。二十四课当中，我也打算采用同样的办法。今天的毛是 was interrupted by knock and the door， 哎，意思是被一阵儿敲门声打断了。哎，前后到底发生了什么呢？我们来看一看。先来看在被打断之前的事情，它分为两个方面啊，发生在我身上的事情，还有饭店经理的反应。呃，第一个方面，发生在我身上的事儿。我走进饭店经理的办公室 ，I entered the hotel manager's office， 哎，并且坐了下来 ，and sat down。我为什么去他的办公室呢？因为啊，我刚刚丢了五十英镑 ，I had just lost fifty pounds。呃，我感到非常烦恼 ，and I felt very upset。我就大致描述了下具体的遭遇。我把钱放在房间里。I left the money in my room. I said. 可现在没有了。And it's not there now. 好，第二个方面就是，经理听完我的描述之后，他的反应。那经理首先他表示同情。The manager was sympathetic. 嗯，但也仅限于此。哎，其他的他就无能为力了。But he could do nothing。他还安慰我说啊，他说，哎，现在大家都在丢钱。Everyone is losing money these days. He said. 现在这个世界变坏了。他开始抱怨起这个邪恶的世道来。He started to complain about this wicked world. 哎，刚开始抱怨 ，but， 哎，出现 but。哎，此时我们最开始说的那个毛就出现了，敲门声响起 ，a knock at the door。前面的两方面就介绍完了，我们来看看后面发生了什么。同样是两个方面，哎，第一个方面，敲门的是一个姑娘，她做了什么呢？她走进来，把一个信封放到了经理的桌上。A girl came in and put an envelope on his desk. 哎，信封里装着五十英镑。It contained fifty pounds. 哎，女孩还解释说，哎，这是我在这位先生的门外捡到的。I found this outside this gentleman's room. She said. 哎，这一切都发生在我的眼前，一切真是太具戏剧色彩了。哎，此时就是我的反应。嗯，算是第二个方面的内容了。是啊 ，Well， 哎，我就对那个经理说 ，I said to the manager， 哎，这个世界还是有诚信可言的。There is still some honesty in this world， 也不全是属于您说的那个邪恶阵营的。好了，呃，以上的就是第二十四课的课文内容，图像化。后面是我一到二十四课课文的背诵。好的，第一课到第二十四课课文。Lesson one: A private conversation. Why? What? Why?
Why did the people? Why did the writer complain to the people behind it? Last week I went to the theater. I had a very good seat. The play was very interesting. I did not enjoy it. A young man and a young woman were sitting behind me. They were talking loudly. I got very angry. I could not hear the actors. I turned around and looked at the man and the woman angrily. They did not pay any attention. In the end, I could not bear it. I turned around again. I can't hear a word. I said angrily. It's none of your business, the young man said rudely. This is a private conversation. Well, lesson two: breakfast or lunch. Why was the writer's aunt surprised? It was Sunday. I never get up early on Sundays. I sometimes stay in bed until lunchtime. Last Sunday, I got up very late. I looked out of the window. It was dark on the side. What a day! I thought. It's raining again. Just then, the telephone rang. It was my aunt Lucy. I've just arrived by tree, she said. I'm coming to see you, but I'm still having breakfast. I said, "What are you doing?" She asked. I'm having breakfast. I repeated. Dear me, she said. Do you always get up so late? It's one o'clock. Oh, lesson three. Please send me a card. How many cards did the writer send? Postcards always spoil my holidays. Last summer, I went to Italy. I visited museums and the city public gardens. A friendly winter taught me a few words of Italy. Then he lent me a book. I read a few lines, but I did not understand a word. Every day I thought about postcards. My holidays passed quickly, but I did not send cards to my friends. On the last day, I made a big decision. I got up early and bought thirty-seven cards. I spent the whole day in my room, but I did not. Write a single card. Lesson four: An exciting trip. Why is Tim finding this trip very exciting? I just received a letter. I've just received a letter from my brother Tim. He's in Australia. He has been there for six months. My、uh, Tim is an engineer. She is working for a big firm, and she has she has already visited a great many. A great number of different places in Australia. He has gone. He has just bought an Australian car and has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center of Australia. He will soon fly to、uh, soon visit Darwin. From there, he will fly to Perth. My brother has never been abroad before, so he's finding this trip very exciting. Well, listen. Five, no wrong number. What does no wrong numbers mean? Mr. James Carr has garage in Sudbury and now has just bought another garage in Pinhurst. Pinhurst is only five miles from Sudbury, but Mr. Carr cannot get a telephone for his new garage, so he he has just bought twelve just bought twelve pigeons. Yesterday, a pigeon. Carried their first message from Pinhurst to Silbury. The bird covered the distance in three minutes. Up to now, Mr. Scott has sent a, a great many requests for spare parts and other urgent messages from one garage to the other. In this way, he has he has he has begun his own private telephone service. A lesson six: Percy buttons. Who is Percy buttons? I've just moved to a house in Bridge Street. Br- Bridge Street. Yesterday, a banker knocked at my door. He asked me for a meal and a glass of beer in return for this. The banker stole my hat and sang songs. I gave him a meal. He ate the food and drank the beer. Then he put a piece of cheese in his pocket and went away. Later, a neighbor told me about him. Everybody knows him. His name is Percy Buttons. He calls at every house in the street once a month, and always asks for a meal and glass of beer. Of lesson seven, too late. Did the detective save diamonds? The play was late, and detectives were waiting at the airport all morning. They were expecting for a valuable parcel of diamonds from South Africa. 
A few hours earlier, someone told the police that thieves would try to steal the diamonds. Steal the diamonds. When the police arrived, some of the detectives were waiting inside the main building, while others were waiting on the airfield. Two men took the puzzle off the plate and carried it into the customer's house. While two detectives were keeping guard at the door, two others opened the puzzle. To their surprise, the precious puzzle was full of stones and sand. Lesson A, the best and the worst. Why is Jones Garden the most beautiful one in the town? Jones Sanders had the most beautiful garden in our town. Nearly everybody enters for the nicest garden competition each year, but Joe wins every time. Bill Friend's garden is larger than Joe's. Bill works harder than Joe and grows more flowers and vegetables, but Joe's garden is more interesting. He has made neat path and has built a wooden bridge over a pool. I like gardens too, but I do not like hard work. Every year I enter for the garden competition too, and I always win a little prize for the worst garden in the town. Oh, lesson nine: a cold welcome. What was the, what does the cold a cold welcome refer to? On Wednesday evening, we went to the town hall. It was the last day of the year, and a large crowd of people had gathered under the town hall clock. It was struck twelve in twenty minutes' time. Fifteen minutes passed, and then at five to twelve, the clock stopped. The big minute hand did not move. We waited and waited, but nothing happened. Suddenly, someone shouted, "It is two minutes past twelve. The clock has stopped." I looked at my watch. It was true. The big clock refused to. Welcome the new year. At that moment, everybody began to laugh and sing. Oh, lesson ten, not for jazz. What happened to the clavichord? We have no musical instrument. It is called clavichord. It was made in Germany in 1681. Our clavichord is kept in the living room. It has it has belonged to our family for a long time. The instrument was bought by my grandfather many years ago. Recently, it it was damaged by a visitor. She tried to play jazz on it. She struck the case too hard, and two of strings were broken. My father was shocked. Now we are not allowed to touch it. It is being repaired by a friend of my father's. Oh, lesson eleven: One good turn deserves another. Who paid for Tony's dinner? I was having a dinner, having dinner at a restaurant when Tony Steele came in. Tony worked in a lawyer's office years ago, and he is now.、Uh, but he is now working at a bank. He gets good salary, but he always borrows money from his friends, and never pays it back. Tony saw me and came and sat, sat in, sat in, sat at the same table. He never, he never, he has never borrowed money from me. While he was eating, I asked him to lend me twenty pounds. To my surprise, he gave me the money immediately. I had never borrowed any money from you, Tony said. So now you can pay for my dinner. Our lesson twelve: Goodbye and good luck. Where is Captain Allison going, and how? Our neighbor, Captain Charles Allison, will sail from Portsmouth tomorrow. They will meet him at the harbor early in the morning. He will be in his small boat, Topsail. Topsail is a famous little boat. It has sailed across the Atlantic many times. Captain Allison will set off at eight o'clock, so we will have we will have plenty of time. We will see his boat, and then we will say goodbye to him. He will be away for two months. We are very proud of him. He will take part in. Take part in important race across the Atlantic.、Oh. <laughs> Lesson thirteen: The Greenwood Boys. Why will the police have a difficult time? The Greenwood Boys are a group of pop singers. At present, they are visiting all parts of the country. They will be arriving here tomorrow. 
they will be arriving, they will be, they will be coming by tree, and most of the young people in the town will be meeting them at the airport at the station. Tomorrow evening, they will be staying at the workers club. The Greenwood boys will be staying for five days. During this time, they will give five performances. As usual, police will have a difficult time. They will be trying to keep order. It is always the same on these occasions. Lesson 14. Do you speak English? Did the young people speak English? I had an amusing experience last year. After I had left a small village in the south of France, I drove on to the next town. On the way, a young man waved to me. I stopped and he asked, uh, he asked me for a lift. As soon as he had got into the car, I said good morning to him in French and he replied in the same language. Apart from a few words, I don't know any French at all. Neither of us, neither, neither of us spoke during, during the journey. I had nearly reached the town when the young man suddenly sighed. Suddenly said very slowly, Do you speak English? As I soon learned, he was English. He was English himself. Lesson 15. Shuke. Good news. What was the good news? The secretary told me that Mr. Hamsworth would see me. I felt very nervous when I went into his office. He did not look up from his desk when I entered. When I entered. After I had sat down, he said that the, f the business was very bad. He told me that the firm could not, could not afford to pay such large salaries. Twenty people had already left. I knew that my turn had come. Mr. Hamsworth, I said in a weak voice, don't interrupt, he said. Then he smiled and told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. Lesson 16 A polite request What was the polite request? If you park your car in the wrong place, a, poli a traffic policeman will soon find it. You will be very lucky if he lets you go without ticket. However, this does not always happen. Traffic officers are sometimes very polite. During a holiday in Sweden, I found this note on my car. Sir, where we welcome you to our city, this is no parking area. You will enjoy your stay here if you're paying attention to our street size. This note is only a, remind, uh, only, a remind, only a reminder. If you receive a request like this, you cannot fail to obey. Lesson 17. Always young. Why doesn't Aunt Jennifer tell anyone how old she is? My, my Aunt Jennifer is an actress. She must be at least 35 years old. In spite of this, she often appear, appeared on, sta on the stage as a young girl. Jennifer was, will have to take part in a new play soon. This time, she will, she will be a girl of 17. In the play, she must appear in a bright red dress and long black stockings. Last year, in another play, she had to wear short socks and a bright orange colored dress. If anyone ever asks her how old she is, she always answers, darling. It must be terrible to be grown up. Lesson 18. He often does this. What had happened to the people uh, to the writer's bag? After I had had lunch and a village pub, I looked for my bag. I had left it on the chair beside the door. And it wasn't there. And now it wasn't there. As I, as I was looking for it, the landlord came in. Do you have a good meal? He asked. Yes, thank you, I said. I answered. But I can't pay the bill. 
I haven't got my bag. The landlord smiled and immediately went out. A few minutes, he returned. He, in a few minutes, he returned with my bag and gave it back to me. I'm very sorry, he said. My dog had given, my dog had taken it into the garden. He often does this. But less than nineteen, Shijiu Ke sold out. When will the writer see the play? The play may begin at any moment. I said. It may have begun already. Susan answered. I hurried to the tickets office. May I have two tickets, please? I asked. I'm sorry, we've sold out. The girl said. What a pity! Susan exclaimed. Just then, a man hurried to the tickets office. Can I return these two tickets? He asked. Certainly, the girl said. I went back to the tickets office. At once. Uh, could I have those two tickets, please? I asked. Certainly, the girl said. But they are for next next Wednesday's performance. Do you still want them?、Uh, I might as well have them. I said sadly. Oh, lesson twenty, 第二十课 One man in a boat. Why is fishing the writer's favorite sport? Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish. Four hours without catching anything, but this does not worry me. Some fishermen are v- some fishermen are unlucky. Instead of catching fish, they catch old boats and rubbish. I'm I'm even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boats. After having spent whole mornings on the river, I always go home with an empty bag. You must give up fishing, my friends say. It's a waste of time. But they, but they don't realize one important thing. I'm not interested in fishing. I'm, I'm not really interested in fishing. I'm only interested in sitting in the boat and doing nothing at all. Lesson twenty-one. 第二十一课 Twenty one. Oh, mad or not? Why do people think the writer is mad? Airplanes are slowly driving me mad. I live near an airport, and passing planes was、uh, can be heard night and day. The airport was built years ago, but for some reason, it what it could be used then. Last year, however, it came into use. Over a hundred people must have been driven driven away from their homes by the noise. I'm the only I'm 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 the one I'm I'm one of the few people left. Sometimes I think this house will be knocked down by a passing plane. I have been offered a large sum of money to go away. But I'm determined to stay here.、Uh, everybody says I must be mad, and they're probably right. Lesson twenty-two. A glass envelope. How did the Jane receive a letter from a stranger? My daughter Jane, my daughter Jane, never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. Last year when. We traveling. We were traveling across the channel, and Jane put a piece of piece of paper with her name and address and address on it into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again. But two months later, she received a letter from a girl from a girl in Holland. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to decided to use the post office. Letters were were cost a little more, but they were certainly travel faster. Ah,、uh, lesson twenty three, lesson twenty three, 二十三 a new house. Why is the new house special? I had 
I had a letter from my sister yesterday. She lives. She lives in Nigeria. In her letter, she said that she would come in,、uh, come to England next year. If she comes, she will get a surprise. She will get a surprise. We're living in a beautiful new house in the country. Work on it had begun before my sister came. It, and the house was completed five months ago. In my letter, I told her that she could stay with us. The house has many large rooms, and there is a lovely garden. It is, it's a very, it's a very modern house, so it looks strange to some people. It must be the only, only modern house in the district. 好，今天的今天学习第二十四课 ，Lesson Twenty Four. It could be worse. Had the writer's money been been had the the writer's money been stolen? I entered the hotel manager's house、uh, office and sat down. I had just lost twenty pounds, a、uh, fifty pounds, and I felt very upset. I left the money. I left the money in my room. I said. But it's not there now. The manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing.、Uh, everybody, everybody is losing money these days. He said. He be, he started to complain about about this wicked world,、uh, but was interrupted by a knock at the door. A girl came in and put an envelope on her on his desk. It contained it contained fifty fifty bucks, fifty pounds, fifty pounds. I found this outside the, this gentleman's room, she said. Well, I said to the manager, there is there is still some honesty in this world. Oh, 好了。一到二十四课课文，也就是整个 Unit One 第一单元，嗯、呃，就到这里。好，我们下次见，拜拜。